Hello and welcome back to this channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you an absolutely simple beginner friendly tutorial on oil painting. So we're going to draw this orange with oil paint brushes in Adobe Fresco. So let's just get started. Click on create new and click on current screen size. One thing to note is I'm in my landscape mode. So the screen size is going to show up automatically as landscape. If you're in portrait mode or you want to change this orientation of the artboard, just click on this tiny arrow and switch to whatever mode you want. I'm going to keep it at landscape and click on this. I have a texture for you guys. So if you want to download it, click on the link in the description box below. And once you have downloaded it, you can either save it to files or onto your photos. I think it will be saved as files. So we're going to bring that texture in right now. So click on this image icon here. If it's in your images or photos, click on photos. Mine is under files, so I'm going to go click on files. And then this is my texture pack and I'm going to use a canvas texture. This might take a while to load because of how huge this is. Once you have it in your artboard, make sure you use these corners to increase the size so that it extends beyond the artboard like that. And then click on done. And one thing you want to make sure is that we can see only the artboard. Now I think the texture, canvas texture is actually bigger than my artboard. So it's extending beyond. So what I'm going to do is go into my settings here and make sure click on artboard preview and see it crops the texture to my artboard. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and draw or paint with our oil paint brushes. So if you click on this second icon here, these are the live brushes, there's watercolor and oil. So I'm going to click on oil and I will choose oil paint chunky because we want some really nice, big, chunky brush. Ignore this message. I just have to switch from my free to paid version, but I'm using the free version just to make sure that you guys have access to same brushes as I do. You know, sometimes it becomes hard to figure out if the free version has access to the particular brush or not. So yeah, anyway, let's, I'm on oil paint chunky and my brush size is at 782. Mm, let me just check. That's fine, I guess. Maybe let's make it 700. You can either hold this and go up and down or click and hold. And in here, you can type 700. The flow is set to 45. I haven't changed this. I think it's the default. If it's not set it to 45, it's much nicer. And this one is called as paint mix. So what this means is how much your paints are going to get mixed with each other. What this basically means is I'll choose a color like this one and a blue. And this one now I'm on blue and if I mix it it's going to make green right now if I make this all the way down to 10 percent and try to mix it it's not going to mix well at all the blue is going to show up more than the yellow so but I'll undo that with your two finger tap and if I make this all the way up now the yellow is going to have more preference here of course your brush has blue so it's going to mix and make this color but yellow is going to show up more so what it basically means is how well your color should mix. And I usually like to keep it around 50% because I want them to mix evenly. And the next one setting you have to make sure that you have set it is the reload color. You can press on this icons here and click on reload color so that every time you mix colors. Okay, let me show that again. Just blue, that yellow, and now I'm going to mix this. Now, when you have reload color, if you color, you should get the color which is here. But if you turn that off, and I'm going to mix this. Now, when you paint again, you're going to get that color. So it's really good if you want a particular color in your artwork and you want to mix yourself. But otherwise, I would recommend that you keep the reload color on. Okay, now that we have all sorted out, our texture is ready. We forgot to prepare the texture. So I'm going to go into the texture layer, click on levels click on multiply here what this does is it makes sure that the artwork you draw beneath it shows up on this texture okay so go to a layer below that if you don't have a layer go to the bottommost layer and click on this plus icon here to create a new layer now we have selected oil paint chunky we have set everything that we need so now we're going to go ahead and select our colors the first one is we want something orange to use this outer one go and select your orange let's make it a bit lighter orange like that and one more thing you might have noticed that it had a background there are two ways to draw this piece one is to make the background on the same layer 
you can draw the background first and then draw the orange which is like the easier method the easiest method is to draw the background on a completely different layer and orange on a different layer so that the colors won't mix but I'm going to use a third method where I will draw the background and the orange on the same layer but I will draw the orange first because I want the edges of the orange to mix a little bit with the background you can try any method that you want so I'm going to show you mine and see what you think and try to draw it your way and make this artwork your own okay so all we have to do for an orange is to draw a circle right so I have the lighter one so I'm going to draw but okay this seems a bit too big I'm going to make it a little smaller 600 ish you don't have to keep it at 616 you can keep it around 600 so I'm going to draw the top part of the orange let's make it as round as possible like that and leave a bit of blank here okay like that that's perfect let's go ahead and choose a dark orange I'm going to bring it back down and bring it all the way down so it's all nice and red and we're going to go ahead and color this and try to make this round and yep that looks nice perfect and now we're going to go ahead and choose white and I want you to go ahead and okay let it be chunky it's fine so you're going to add a bit here oops cannot see it can you okay that's better and when I'm doing this I'm adding a lot more pressure here so that it's a bit white or you know more white but then I'm going to slowly use lighter shade here like I'm not using a lot of pressure so I'll show you with a different color what I'm doing so a different layer so that it doesn't mix I'm using this and then I'm using a slightly less pressure on the side so that it mixes with that orange color over there and then it gives a very nice blend kind of effect okay so you can go ahead and use this technique to make sure this orange and white color are mixing nice see that's what I'm doing so it's just giving a bit of a highlight over there okay once you feel that that's ready maybe you want to make your orange a little more orangey or more round you can go ahead and do that now let's go ahead and choose a green this outer ring actually tells you which color you want Let, and this smaller one square you have to put it all the way here to, if you want the brightest color so I'm going to put it around here more olive greenish more towards the yellow and I'll bring it down about here doesn't matter where you go really and let's go here and click on oil paint detail now this is set at 81 here it's at 62 doesn't really matter you can keep it anything paint makes 50 sorry we don't need that and this one if you want to know what this is there's a video on it I will link it in the description and somewhere over here as card uh, go ahead and check it out and then um, yeah everything else is same I haven't changed anything we're going to draw a bit of stock you can draw it on this layer itself or you can go to a different one as well the best thing is to go to a different layer because we want to put a background right and we don't want it to mix it with this so I'm just going to go ahead and draw not that fancy just something like this now I'll go back to my orange layer and because I want to show you what the different kinds of backgrounds look like I'm going to duplicate it click and duplicate layer and then click and duplicate layer and I'm going to go and click on this eye to hide the other extra oranges and let's go back to this orange now and let's choose a color I want a nice bright greenish blue something like this I know it's not something everybody likes but I thought why not maybe make it a little dull by moving it towards the white if you make it darker you move towards down brighter over here okay and let's go back to oil paint chunky and I'm going to draw here and it's a bit too big I guess so let's reduce this a little bit more and there you go I'm going to add a bit here like that and of course it's going to mix it's fine in the bottom it's fine because it gives you that um, there's a bit of a shadow effect and you can always you know like that and there you go and then there you go and this is method one and you can basically give 
it however you want you can fix the edges as well and if you make a mistake in between like here it went a bit inside use your two finger tap to undo things and then yep there you go your orange is ready so let's go ahead and do the second method i'm going to hide that there and click on plus and that's that's fine we'll bring back the orange we'll go to a blank new layer and use this and then add our make it bigger if you want and add a background like that and as you can see it has these definite distinction between the orange and the layer i'm just going to group those two select multiple click and group so that i can hide it together and i'm going to bring back and i like this one because it kind of smudges here and creates that shadow kind of effect okay and the third one was to draw the background and then the orange so i'm going to go in here and hide the orange for you guys this is to just show wait is there some okay there you go let me go there's the layer i'm going to a different layer and again i'll choose the orange you know i can draw it like that and bring in the dark version here and basically draw it the similar way that I did. And like I told before, I like this version better. <laughs> so I'm going to stick with this version because of all the nice shadows and stuff. Once you're ready to export, you can click here. Oh, by the way, you can preview the time lapse by clicking here, by clicking this. And then you can see the whole process of whatever you did. That's cool. You can also export it as a file and share it on your socials. Or you can also click on share publish and export, you can export as, and export and as a PNG or something like that. I would like to add a tiny touch to it. I'll go into my brushes and I have a custom brush that I created. I'm going to put black and I have the brush. So if you don't know, I also use another name called Think Beyond Color. And oh wait, I do have a, print me some color. I can add my stamp brush to it or i have one more which is a vector one i guess and i could add increase the size maybe okay and i can add that to it as well so yeah there you go your artwork is done and i hope you liked it if you like the video hit like button and subscribe to this channel you can support this channel by buying me a coffee on coffee.com you'll find the link to do that in the description box below if you want to watch more beginner friendly tutorials i've started putting beginner friendly in the title so it's easy for you to find uh, you'll probably see a playlist as well pretty soon if you want to check out more oil painting tutorials i have a playlist as well i'll link it in the description box below if you create something and share it on your social media please tag me and print me some color on instagram and tiktok as well and um, i guess i'll see you in the next video then bye bye